So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. Um, we are in Bonita Springs, Florida, which is uh, down along the Gulf Coast and drove by and I saw uh, these two convertibles, these two plastic convertibles in this uh, place called Bonita Complete Auto Repair. And I went and talked to Jose and um, one of them is a gorgeous uh, ragtop fair lane. The other one is a Dodge Dart, but it's not kind of Dart you're probably thinking of because it actually looks like an old Barracuda. So, um, and that's what I actually thought it was when I pulled up. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn around. So we've got, Juan's gonna come out and talk to us about, we've got, it looks like a 56 Ford Fairlane. You guys could tell me different. And I have no idea what year Dodge this is. So you guys, I know the Mopar stuff, I don't know, I would say, is this early 60s? They're gonna tell me in a minute. Um, and uh, there's a Hemi sitting there, but it's not the Hemi I'm thinking they're gonna put in any of these cars. But if we look at this, this is a beautiful Dodge Dart. We'll find out more about that in a minute. And this is a Fairlane 500. Look how small, that's gotta be a six cylinder if we're just looking at the exhaust pipe. That is a tiny, tiny exhaust pipe. Look at that exhaust pipe. That is a tiny, tiny little exhaust on there. But underneath is clean, it's a really clean looking car. You can see how the bumpers um, are attached right there. See leaf springs, fuel tanks. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, look at under there. That is just as clean as above. This thing looks like it had a full restoration. If not, I cannot imagine this is the original uh, non-restored, but it is just a gorgeous car. It's got the nice tips on the exhaust. Look at the rear end and down the rear end down there. You can look all the way down. There is not a speck of dust on this car. All the way down. That is a sweet Fairlane. Got these big old rubber bumpers from the 50s on it. Dual exhaust, leaf springs. 
That is a nice looking rear. It's got all the, the small fins from the 50s, the jet, and jet engine inspired rear lights. It's supposed to look like, you know, the back end of a jet with the flames coming out because jets were just invented during that time period. So they wanted everything was rockets and space and jet airplanes. And that's why, I mean, if you look at that, you can just imagine that when that lights up, it just kind of looks like the flames from the back of a 1950s jet engine. These are both really, really original. Look at this. Original hubcaps, white walls. Love the two color stitching of the seats. The boot looks nice. There's your glass. Just folds up. Just crazy. GT. Dart GTA? Is it GTA or GT? You guys tell me, is that GTA or GT? I'm not sure. Oh, it's the GT. It even says Dart GT on it. Now this, if we look at it, it has the original steering wheel, no power windows, no power brakes. What is that? Parking brake is right there. That's pretty cool. It's got the push button. Um, it's got your push button. It's got your push button uh, selector for your transmission, automatic transmission. And hold on. All right, guys. So we had. Oh, it's a whole different car. Oh. Oh, whoops. You gotta open the hood. That, that the other one's gone. I got some of that, but yeah, all this was so dark. This one. What is that? You have. All right, so this is a one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the six cylinder that they redid here, and it's got the. Brakes upgraded. They redid the engine. They did not rebuild the engine um, outside the car. They rebuilt it while it was in here because the owner didn't want to go with a rebuild that was outside the car. But it has, everything's been painted, replaced, that's needed to be replaced, and just refreshed. And, uh, and you can tell here, look, 10, 18, 21. That's what you do when you put a fuel filter in. Make sure you mark it so that you know when they've been put in. But you can tell this has all been repainted and reclassed. Really, really nice. It's just a beautiful, beautiful car. Beautiful engine. All stock. Except for the little air cleaner. But other than that, this whole thing is stock. And it looks like it's showroom fresh. They've got the dashboard out of it right now because they're redoing the dashboard. Dashboard's down there.
48 is the yeah. twin to the 25. And, and actually the 48 raced at Sebring and the yep. 25 went over to uh, Le Mans, Italy. Oh, so this was a Le Mans car. 24 hour endurance race. Wow. Yes, this is it. And it looks like it's set up the way it was with the it tires is. and all. Um, yeah, it was sitting in a garage for 40 years. This is a 69 Corvette. Yeah. Uh, 500 horsepower fuel injected 350, 383 actually. Why not? So it's, it's the original block? No, this is uh, aftermarket. He has the original block in his oh. garage. And this, this is that uh, fuel injected thing that this looks is like a, a carburetor? Fuel injection, yeah. Right? Fuel they make it look like a carb so that way yeah. uh -huh. you can put them on ease, but they make it so you could drive this forever without. And then he has incredible control arms that we put on this. Oh yeah. These factory ones man. don't work, so we did upper and lower racing control arms on See, it. See, the nice thing is, is it looks stock when you open it up, other than the oversized yeah. radiator, which uh -huh. every... Aluminum radiator, electric yeah. fan. Um, but this thing goes so good. I mean, it burns those tires as long as you're on the gas pedal. It's a fun little go-kart. Oh, it looks... And it's red on red? Yeah. Okay. So it's really, really uh, sweet. The back window comes out. Now I'm wondering, you know how they have the shielding on some of these? Yeah. But when you put, because this is not the point system. This is that. This is that. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, the HEI. Does the does the um, shielding fit over HEI? Um, no, but they sell. Some, or they sell something that some, kind of makes it yeah, look like it, it is. just covers this whole because area. Because. The only reason that every like I took my shielding off of my my C3s uh, yeah. and I didn't know why because back in the 80s I just didn't know but it was because it interferes with the radio. Yep. And well, it's what I didn't real I didn't know that till somebody at the Corvette up in when I went went up to uh Lexi or uh, Kentucky. Yep. And I was way. like, yeah, I took mine off cuz it was a pain and they're like, no, 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 it was there for the radio. For that reason. That's the only reason it was there, but now with the the stereo systems they have now, it doesn't interfere it's with them. Yeah. So they're there's not solid state like they used to be. Yep. And it's got wrapped is that headers on there? Yep. Uh, yep. So yep. so Headers wrapped with Wow. Car, That's a really really pretty car. Yeah. So, so you guys built this engine? Did you build the engine? Uh, we ordered a spring motor. Well, that's what I mean, but you put it together and everything else? Yeah, pretty much everything. Yeah. We actually had it done somewhere else. And they now, was it dynoed? Like it's dynoed 500? Yeah. interior is really clean or did he redo it or yeah he had it off oh okay redone. he actually bought it from arizona and had it shipped here but they did a pretty good job on on most of it yeah, it's really nice it's a sweet car yeah but i'd still take that one up there yeah <laughs> it's not that one That's but this one i mean this one gets as much eyeballs as but this one might have went to the racetrack to watch that one go you know? yeah i'll tell you what and then I love, I didn't know this either, that only three of the vents are ever open. There's always, this one was just painted yeah. on these cars, yeah. which always like surprised me because I, I, until I actually saw one up close years ago and I, I just, you would see them driving by or at Corvette shows, I never noticed the paint. So if you guys are down in Southwest Florida, uh, come over and see these guys. Yeah. Um, Benito Auto Center. Yeah, Benito Auto Center right here in the corner. And, uh, and actually it's really nice because this is like this whole area of town has been redone in the last 20 years. This is that you can walk around. If you leave a car here, you got you got little cafes. restaurants, cafes. There's a really cool restaurant right down the street this way. So best wings in town. Yeah, I saw Food that. Chips. I might stop there for lunch. Yep. Um, 
so yeah there's and there's a place down here called wonder gardens that you can go with you know if you're dropping something off and you and you want to go waste an hour or two if they're working on something you can go down to wonder gardens you can walk down here there's alligators and hyenas and it's like a whole zoo and stuff so yeah. there's plenty of things to do and and i mean these guys have been here for a while and they're busy they this isn't their only two bays this is the only two bays with these cars in it yeah this is for that this, this is out. yeah this is like their hot rod classic car bays but they have they do everything else while we've been here in fact the reason he didn't come out right away is because <laughs> they're changing tires they're doing tune-ups or they're brakes. fixed brakes on stuff AC. so ac we had a guy that just showed up that needed his tire fixed right away on his way to the airport so right and right they there. just dropped everything got him on his way yep. so um yeah it's a great place come uh you saw the sign phone numbers up the side i'll put the phone number and stuff in the description like we usually do thank you guys for watching if you like this kind of thing please subscribe ring the bell everything else and i'll see you next time april should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one probably just for this one